hello to all my friends out there. And so I'm making some um, beef patty sandwiches and I'm using my uh, beef patty mix that I bought at um, 99 cent only, $2 a pound. Uh, they have these beef patties at Walmart uh, too. What I did is I just put my um, burger maker under the foil and I made two thin burgers. And then, you know, um, I had stir fry and so I had mushrooms left. So, you know, I thought, wow, you know, that'll be pretty good on my uh, beef, uh, beef patty, um, patty milk. So, um, I um, seasoned these with seasoned salt. A little crushed red pepper and um, some black pepper that I bought at uh, 99 cent only or dollar two, one of those. And on this beef patty mix, um, you have to fry it in a little oil because it doesn't um, have much uh, grease to it. Uh, it's part soy, but you know, if you are broke, I don't think that's a good time to be lofty. You know, just get. 10 pounds beef patty mix and, uh, oh, this is hard to do one handed. And, you know, have some hamburgers for dinner, you know? Uh -oh. I don't know if these are going to be too pretty trying to do one handed, but I'll do my best. <laughs> so, each of these hamburgers with this beef patty mix is costing a quarter. Plus a few mushrooms. If you don't have mushrooms, you don't just not going to have any mushrooms. But if you do happen to have some, uh, you know Walmart. Uh, Walmart has um, part of it might be the tent. Walmart has um, frozen mushrooms, and I used to get a couple packages of those. Those come in handy for spaghetti, or I should have made these on my grill, but too late now. Um, so I'm going to flip these and so over here I have some bread with some butter on one side and some mustard and here's my mustard and uh, last month I bought four of these eight ounce packages of cheese at 99 cent only for two dollars each and then you know I try to get the margarine for a dollar. So the idea is if you buy your your um, cheese and your meat and your bread as cheap as you possibly can, you know, then, you know, your your food is going to go much further. Let me see if I can flip the Oh, this is incredibly hard to do on here. And I have these things... Uh, um, press it down tight, but you know, trying to do one handed is not easy, but it's still going to taste good. Okay, so over here I have a little mint tea, and just to let you know, um, I was reading the comments, and somebody was asking a few uh, questions about the uh, eBay. So, um, I want to make mention of a couple things. Okay, so I sell anything on eBay. I mean, you know, as long as it doesn't cost much to mail. Here's my moon ring, and this is a lacquer pin I was lucky enough to find. And so, you know, first it was dolphins, then it was cats, then it was tea parties. Well, now it's moon stuff. It's flying saucer stuff. Of course, that's a reoccurring theme with me. And I sell these kind of things on eBay. Um, I was mentioning, you know, if you try to sell something on eBay and it doesn't sell, drop the price a little bit or repost it up to three times if you don't want to drop your price. Me, I'd rather drop my price in and, you know, uh, I do the auction every six days. So that means uh, my stuff is continuously, um, continuously turning over every six days. And so another reason I do that is because every six days, that is like a paycheck, you know, like a job. Uh, admittedly, it's a pretty poor paying job when you first start, but then when you start getting the hang of it, 
Um, I don't like to sell big things like this because they cost too much to ship. Um, I, I turned it upside down and I said, look, Mikey, it's the flat world because here in California, I heard they want to take over the people, the flat world people want to take over and they want to become their own state in California. So I don't know about that. That's what I heard. I heard that on Peter the Insider. You guys should listen to that. Okay, so with the eBay business, what I do is I save every little box that's halfway decent. Look, here's my here's my Charles and Diana commemorative cup. And so I would wrap that in bubble wrap, you know, to make sure it got to its destination in one place. Ooh. And then, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys all know this, but you can get these boxes. Here's some uh, some silverware I bought. I'm not selling it. It's for my tea parties. But, you know, these are free. You just pick them up at the post office. And then, you know, it's a flat rate. I prefer not to mail mine that way. Um, and then I save all paper bags, you know, in case you have to send something that you have to wrap. And then another thing I found is these cute bags. You know, you can. I found these at Dollar Tree. So I want to make mention of that. Uh oh, my hamburgers are getting almost ready. Okay. So these are going to be some good uh, patty melts. They really are. about 25 cents worth of beef patty mix so now I just want to get some uh, what I'm gonna do is I have a little container here and I'm just gonna pour my grease in here you could save this and make some gravy and then I'm just gonna fry my beef patty mix melt in the same pan you know okay you could just eat them if you don't have if you don't have cheese, you could just, um, you know, there you go, uh, ketchup and mustard, but that's not the plan tonight. So, you know, I want to put a little cheese. So I want to make like a patty melt, but of course, crazy cheap patty melt. So, okay, so, you know, this cheese, I think my, um, my patty melts are well under uh, $1.00. Because I buy the all-time cheapest bread I possibly can. Okay, so now I just want to, you know, I just want to fry my patty melts. You know, I want to brown them just like a grilled cheese sandwich. This is going to be good. Okay, and someone asked where I get the boxes. Here's what the boxes I buy. See, you have the long ones. A little one and a bigger one. Dollar Tree, one dollar. And then I buy uh, bubble wrap. Uh, uh, let's see. I had to cut this one open, but normally you can um, you can um, shut them. You know they have a tape, but then I reinforce everything with tape. I I um, wrap my good watches in the bubble wrap, and then I uh, tape the bubble wrap shut, and then I tape the box shut. And then here is the bubble wrap. You can get that at Dollar Tree. So, you know, uh, and, and Walmart. You can get anything, of course, at Walmart. And so for these little things, they cost next to nothing to mail. Um, I was really lucky to find this pin. It's a 925 pin. I'm selling really cheap, $10. And I'm not selling the lacquer pin because you don't have a collection of those. And, and these are like some flying saucer earrings. So, okay, let's see how my beef patty sandwiches are coming. And, you know, just like a grilled cheese sandwich, it's going to be good. And, you know, you just fry it until the, the um, cheese melts. Let's see. Yeah, it's starting to melt. You can put more cheese on. 
but I usually eat these with ketchup, mustard, and pickle relish. You guys have seen me do it if you've um, been following me. And so the other night I was at the thrift store and one of the guys who works there, young of course, he said, you know, uh, what you should do is you should chat, you know, like you're talking to your uh, followers. And I th thought, okay, okay, I'm going to try it. So, you know, you guys are going to get to see the disorganized me at times doing this. And so, um, you know, uh, he does it. And so he followed me and I followed him. So I was happy. I got a subscriber. And so I was shopping all week long, shopping, shopping for my eBay, like a crazy nut looking for good deals. And, and truthfully, I found some really good deals. And um, also, um, I don't know if any of you saw this, but one of the followers said, put a crystal in your uh, plants if your plants aren't doing well. But when I did it, I really, really loved it. And so, you know, I'm going to be putting crystals in all of my um, plants from now on. And I wanted to make mention, um, I typed today, you know, I was so glad uh, one of the followers was following me. And so, you know, I have all these nice followers. And um, I, I wasn't really expecting it. But when it happened, I was glad because, all right, I got to look this it's probably stuck of course anyway so um i wanted to tell you guys the, okay you know i said the thrill of my life okay these are looking good now the thrill of my life was when i got de uh the advertisers um i got the advertisers uh Doritos and Dodge Ram no okay you guys do you want to hear the thrill of my life you know who I got advertising from McDonald's I was so happy and I was sitting and I spend more time in McDonald's because you know ooh, this looks good I spend more time in McDonald's because that's where I take my breaks you know when I'm working um, from the swap meet, but I wanted to mention something else too. So when one of the ladies was asking, you know, about the boxes, this really made me happy because I was hoping that um, if somebody needed extra money, they would try the swap meet, try eBay, um, try a yard sale. It really works. You know, um, when I was going to the, um, I was going to the swap meet every weekend uh, it's very taxing I'm gonna do it again but um, when I moved um, I haven't been able to get my stuff together I've been busy too but what I would do um, on the way home um, from the swap meet and if you guys have been watching my videos I would swing by and I would swing by 99 cent only and I would buy my toilet paper my paper towels all kinds of cheap food, um, you know, dishwasher detergent, dish detergents, toilet paper with my swap meat money. And so, you know, I didn't have to take that money out of my regular, regular budget, you know. So, okay, let's see how they're looking. Ooh, it's going to be good. So, okay, when I get them out of here without burning myself... Uh, what I want to do is I just want to, um, ooh, this is hard to do. You know, normal people would have gotten the tripod up and running a long time ago. But, you know, I have this terrible, terrible issue of procrastination. So, okay, so here is my um, beef patty and mushroom and cheese patty melt. And so, you know... <laughs> These may not be the most per picture perfect beef patty melts, but these, I guarantee you, I'm going to get some ketchup as soon as I finish this. I'm going to cut them diagonally, and I'm going to dip them in ketchup, and I'm going to have a little of my mint tea, and, you know, uh, thank you very much for the comments. And so, 
Uh, later on, I will post some of the stuff that I will be selling, and I was very encouraged. So, you know, when you try to um, encourage someone, you know, to help themselves, and they do it, it is just such a good feeling. Oh, and I wanted to make mention of one more thing. Some of the followers messaged me, I have all my food for the month. And I thought, oh my gosh, that makes me feel so good to think of some young woman and her family. And it was like the second of the month. Well, it's only the ninth of the month. And all the food in the house, food in the stockpile. I mean, there is just, I was hoping that was going to happen when I started this. But truthfully, I really didn't expect the results to be uh, this good. And so I want to thank all of you. And I want to thank you for your comments. And just to let you know, my followers read those comments. They're right on top of them. And there are some... Oh, I want to mention one more comment. One of the ladies said what she does is she just goes to the meat section and she buys four different, um, you know, those big long trays of meat. Four of them. And I thought, yeah, that is a good idea. And so today, you know, I was looking around and I think I, I think I'm gonna buy a couple of those uh, big trays of meat too. And I would not have thought of that if I hadn't read that comment. So um, I want to thank you for that comment, and thank you for the crystal comment, and thank you for the question on the eBay comment. And God bless you. Oh, and thank you for all the cute icons, all kinds of cute, lovable icons. So cute. And God bless you all.